Hi everybody, I'm Carol. This is Free Spirit Arts and I'm doing prompt number 20. Prompt 20 for the Journal to Inspire project that Martha Manigros and I have been doing since January 1. Really, really fun project. Okay, so this one, this is gonna be a ball. Make at least one faux handmade page, paper page. You will need a piece of copy paper, herbs. I have tons, but I just brought these. Threads, leaves, anything else that will lay flat between two sheets of paper. You will also need either Mod Podge, watered down glue, or matte medium, which for Martha it dries too quickly, but for me I've used it and it works fine, so see what you can do. A napkin back, mm, I have it somewhere, right here. This is the back that you take off your napkins, you know, when you peel that back part off. Tracing paper or tissue paper. I've done a video, I think Martha has as well, so you can sure look at that. Just search YouTube or faux handmade paper. It can be used to make tags for pockets in the previous prompts or in any way you wish. Okay, prompt 20. Let's do this thing. Now, um, my recommendation would be that you be careful because I made some faux paper I don't care for. Make sure that you get that second layer. And I think this is just a single layer. I could get a piece of tape just to make sure, but I think it is. Um, and make sure that it's not shiny. This is a little shiny, so I'm kind of concerned about it. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Now, I wanted to do something a little, I wanted to tweak it just a little bit and put, first, I wanna get some ink. Hold the phone, hold the phone. I wanted to see what it would be like if I stencil with a pigment ink. I'm gonna use my daubers. And then put my Mod Podge on, you know? So I'm just gonna see if it'll stay or if it'll smear or what. Let go. We're almost to the end of our project. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. You know, but summer's happening and Everybody's got things to do and people to see. Most people are getting, if they're gonna get their shots, they've got them. There's a lot of places that have opened up. Cause see, I don't think you'd be able to do this after the leaves or whatever you're using petals or whatever is on, you know? So I thought, well, let me see if I can just, I don't know if it'll stay. I don't think the oxides would because they're water-based and I don't know my inks well enough to tell you if this is, this is pigment. So I assume it's gonna stay, but I could be wrong. I know stays on is permanent. I 
I'm just playing. I haven't practiced. This could be total come apart. We'll see. I got these lids mixed up a heck of a long time ago. How about if I just fix them right now since I have them both out? All right. I did want to put a few flowers here. I sure like the foam on that ink. I really want to get some more stencils. These little daubers make it nice. You don't trash your whole stencil. You can get more detailed stuff, you know. Okay. Do I like that? Yeah, I think I do. We don't know if it's gonna work out yet, so let's not waste a lot of energy. I just wanted to see. I just wanted to play a little bit and see if that would work. Okay. Now let's get let's get serious. Might as well put those away. Now, you can use whatever you want. I where's it at? Thought that I would use the rest of my stains by po Patty Pockets. She has an Etsy page. I will try to remember the link. If you're interested, um, and I haven't posted the link, um, remind me down below in the comments, okay? And I'll sure get to it, it's great. I made the same kind of thing, do it this way, then it's great. Oh, before I do that, I wanna look and see, yeah. I want to make sure I had some really light. This is lemon balm. And it smells divine. We'll see. I don't want to trash my, I could. This glass mat is fine to use, but I just don't want to waste the white so let's open this up. Okay. We're doing this. It's happening. I forgot how sticky this was. I gotta get my stuff out because it's not gonna... That glue is not going to give me time. So I'm just reaching in the very bottom. Oh my God, that smells good. I'm also going to get some thread. And I'm, also, I'm just going to start spreading it. and try not to get it on my brush. And the ink is staying. So, I mean, my you know, my stencil is staying. So that's cool.
I really don't want the brush strokes, so I'm going to try to cover those up a little bit. This one, I think I'll do green. Oh, look, that ink is repelling the glue. So that might create pockets of stuff. We'll see. We'll see what it does. Now, I'm going to put this on instead of one sheet, I'm going to kind of collage it, okay? I'm just gonna use my fingers. I really, I don't want a ton. I'll show you in my journal. What I did was I put the tissue on before when I made it for my journal, for my journal to inspire journal. What I did was I got this tissue on and I used my brush and the Mod Podge that I make with glue and water to put it on. And I think that, um, really helped to create a shiny finish and it was a kind of plasticky and um, it's really hard to write on you can use a sharpie but as far as just a ballpoint pen i'll show you in my journal it's pretty i like it but I'd like to not use it as much this time. If I can help it. See, this is, oh, feels dry, but. We've still got construction going on. I actually love it. We, um, we've done big construction projects and remodels and things in every house we've ever lived in. And I just love it. <laughs> Which is weird because I really typically do not like things all a mess and out of order and stuff. So it's kind of weird, but I'm used to seeing the finished product, so I know how beautiful it's gonna be. So I get excited when the big dump trucks come or excavators or cement trucks. Did I miss that? What's going on with that? So many things you could do with this. You could actually leave the edges up if you wanted to and make it really textured and ruffled and stuff. There's nothing that says it has to be all flat and beautiful and perfect. That's that handmade paper. This is not really handmade paper. This is faux paper, but... Now, I wonder what my bra would do. I bet it would tear it all up. I'm not going to try it. I'm not willing to risk it today. Two more videos to go. They're really fun ones, like kind of like this. I would be really curious to know what kinds of projects, if there was an ongoing project for next year, you know, or for starting in the fall or something. What would you like to see? You know, there's so many, you know, like you could do pockets for the whole year. And, you know, the, uh, the handmade or Hannah made tags. That just looks so fun. The slow stitching and stuff. 
Okay, we're gonna call this and we're gonna move over. And how am I gonna do this? Well, we're gonna innovate somehow. Let's put this here and this here. Okay, this one I wanna do clear. And I always have a little bottle of glue right here. I think I wanna use tacky glue. Oh, I, I've never used this, but is it open? No. But I'm told that it, it gives you time to play. And I wanna use marigold. I do have some lavender, but do I want to stencil on it? I'm going to say no. These are the little bottles that I got at the dollar store. Pretty cool, huh? That's pretty thick glue, so I'm going to use a little water. Not going to clean my brush. If it's got some stain in it, that's great. Don't care. Actually, that's pretty cool. Yeah, what would you guys like to do? If I was gonna start a project, you know, how long? I think a year's too long. I think too much stuff happens in a year. I think it's, this would actually be um, plantable paper, right? Because it's got seeds in it, it'll break down if you put it in dirt water soluble glue why wouldn't it break down I think just saying that's what I think yeah what would you want to do would you just want to do covers like six weeks worth of covers or um, Mm, I don't know. There's so many different things you could do. This is faux handmade paper because you already have the piece of paper to work with. If it were just making paper, then we'd be dissolving paper or other some other form of fiber and getting pulp. And then um, working with pulp, you know. How about some string? How about a little bit of green? Oops, this this just do a little. Okay. I'm gonna try just using the water to see if I can get this to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Become one with the glue underneath. <laughs> I don't know the word I'm looking for, oops. It's really thin, really thin.
I want it to bond with the paper underneath. That's still not the right word, but you guys get my drift, right? It's not assimilate. Hmm, homogenize? No. Hmm. I like it, I think. Let's get some more tissue. It's hard not to play with it. Oh, I didn't get the string on there. I was going to put string on there. Some of these are coming out because they're 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 three dimensional. They're not very flat, and this paper is pretty thin. So I probably will have to put some glue down. Hmm, that's almost worse. I think I'm going to let it dry. This is almost ready to throw away, but I still have a couple more uses out of it. Okay, I can see some places. I'm gonna set it over here to dry before I mess with it anymore. What about this one? Okay, I can see some places where, <laughs> look at that, where the stencil didn't take. It repelled the glue. Now what I wanted to do, I'm going to try to use my dryer because I want to do it during this video. I wanted to script over the paper when it was done. Let's see if I can get it dry enough. Don't care for this. It's too dark. I love that stencil underneath. If you were to do script, maybe if it were big enough script in a permanent and a pigment ink. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go over this other one. Can you see it? These leaves, I just don't see them stand. 
on their own. Okay, I know that one's not dry, but let's, oh, I just sat that in the, in the, um, in the glue. I had a Kleenex. Hmm. It's still not dry, but I don't think I love it, but I like the idea of it. Um, what I might do is next time I think I would use coffee dye paper. Then I wouldn't have to use the stain. I think. I love this. There's parts of it I really like. And I might be a little more careful about what flowers I used because, now see this is papery. And last time I used this and it made it, this is just Elmer's and Water. And it gave it a shine that I didn't care for. Just like Mod Podge does, you know, it gave it a hard finish. I really like the stenciling. I would definitely do that again. I'd probably use something that looked a little more vintage. So right now I'm just trying to get the edges of these little napkins that I kind of patchworked it together. Pretty neat that the ink repelled it. What time are we at, guys? Oh, we're out of time. Just in time, we're out of time. Okay, that's all stuck. So after it dried, I was able to go back. These little pieces of flowers that came out, I was able to push them down. So now the question is gonna be, is it gonna get, make it hard? Let me show you what it did before that I didn't like. And the trick is to avoid that, is to get enough of your glue down to begin with and then you don't have that problem, I'll show you. Right here. Um, I'm gonna try to hide this. See how shiny that is? And hard, it's really hard to ride on. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. You could still use it. You could use it for a cover. You could use it for tags. It'd be great for the front of a tag. But you just have to keep in mind that you can't really write on it. This one's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, I like that. And I think uh, having some of the flowers up is fine if you you know, if they're stuck down, that's what paper, handmade paper's all about, right? It's rough, it's not smooth. You could put all your flowers in a coffee grinder and... make powder. 
but it doesn't bother me that they're up. Okay. There you go. That was prompt 20, guys. Okay, go on forth and have fun. And I will see you on the next prompt. So take care of each other. Bye.